Today is Wednesday, April 29th, 2020, and it is Albert's birthday. So I wanna wish Albert a very happy birthday. And I'm going to just read a little poem to you about the rainforest, because that's what we're studying this week. Pardon me while I read it. I love the rainforest and its calling sounds. I love the treetops and its wet, soft ground. Busy as it is with monkeys and termite mounds, there's not a more peaceful place around. That's Tracy Marco's poem. Thank you very much. Enjoy the day, everybody. Take care. Bye. Good morning, friends. You can see in front of you here a box. This is what my cat's food came in the other day, and I saved it because I'm going to show you how to make a diorama of the different layers of a rainforest. So first we start with a box, which I've already cut the top off of. I've taken this section out. Just use scissors, cut all the way around. So that's left me with this box. And that is the space I'm going to use to make my diorama. The first thing I wanna do is line it with green paper because as you know, the rainforest, in this case, the Amazon rainforest in South America, has a lot of greenery. So I'm gonna line the interior of the box. Interior means inside with green paper. That's how I'm going to start. So the rainforest is composed of layers. The emergent layer is the topmost layer of the rainforest. And the trees here can be as tall as 250 feet. And here you'll find birds, butterflies, and sometimes some monkeys. One of the birds you might see is a bird of prey called a harpy eagle. This is a predator, so it finds small animals and other birds to eat. It has a very wide wingspan, up to seven feet. The females are larger than the males. Both have talons, these very strong, feet with claws and the claws on both the male and female are five inches long, as long as a grizzly bear's claws. They are very strong birds and they love to live high up in the emergent layer of the rainforest because they can see far distances. They also build their nests way up there called Aries, A-E-R-I-E. -E. And they're mainly made of sticks and leaves. Monkeys are found in the emergent layer as well, and butterflies of many different kinds and colors. This one's wings are translucent, so it blends in really nicely to wherever it's landed. Camouflage. Beautiful bugs, all different colors. They almost look not real. This is another bird that likes to be in the emergent layer, the topmost part of the rainforest. Look at its tail feathers. Such a beautiful creature. This is a moth that's up in the emergent layer. And another type of monkey that might be found there as well. And another bird. All beautiful examples of creatures found in the emergent layer of the rainforest. The canopy or the second layer of the rainforest is a thick layer of trees and usually quite a bit shorter. Their tops overlap creating an umbrella effect to protect animals from the heat and rain. Monkeys and birds and snakes are some of the animals that live here. Now we'll take a look at some of the birds that live in the canopy area of the rainforest. Here's a beautiful parrot. Look at that beak. Perfect for opening, opening up nuts and fruits to eat. The blurry striation that you see there is rain. It rains a lot in the rainforest. Here's a toucan. Another bird you're familiar with. I'm sure you've seen many pictures of this creature. 
This is a howler monkey. Different color variations live in the canopy area of the rainforest. This one is the reddish brown one. Now we have beautiful butterflies. You can really see the proboscis on that butterfly. That would unroll and go into a flower to sip the nectar, to give it energy. Here's a beautiful green snake looking right at you, coiled over its own body. It's also up in the trees. So when you walk through a rainforest, you have to look up so that you know who is looking down at you. Gorgeous insect. It's almost a geometric pattern. Another one, a little different again. Here's a different butterfly, very distinct. This is an insect we can tell hops. Look at these strong back legs it has. It has a head, a thorax, and the abdomen you can see just underneath. There's its wings. It has one, two, three legs on this side and three on the other, and antennae. So we know it's an insect. Here's another type of monkey that you might find in the canopy. Another insect. Millions and millions of insects are in rainforests. Very important part of the ecosystem. And yet another one. This insect is camouflaged. If it stays perfectly still, a creature that would like to eat it wouldn't notice it. Here's another one, a moth blends right into the leaves. And yet another one, it's right in front of its leaf. If it stays so still, that's all a predator will think it is, a leaf. And that is the last creature to be seen in the canopy. Let's find out what some animals are in the understory next. So the third story of the rainforest is called the understory, right in here. Small trees, bushes, and plants grow at this level, and it is home to bats, frogs, butterflies, and many other animals. So let's have a look at some of the understory animals. Can you guess what these are? That's right, they are fruit bats hanging upside down, looking at us. They are mammals, even though they fly. They are mammals. See the fur? They're very close together. Look at their ears so they can hear so well. Here's another bat. This is also a fruit bat, a different kind. Here you can see the membranes that help it to fly. It too is upside down. This one's fun because it has little tiny ears sticking out. Oh, tree frog, one of the poison dart frogs. Magnificent eyes. They almost look like the earth or marbles. Another poison dart. Beautiful coloration, white and black and the blue. All of these bright colors in the rainforest tell predators, stop, I'm poisonous, do not eat me. That blue almost doesn't look real. Can you imagine you can find that color in nature? Another poison dart frog. Here is a butterfly, so different from the monarch butterflies that we see. And another one. And that's the last creature that I have for the understory. Home to bats, frogs, butterflies, and other animals too. The next layer is the ground floor of the forest. And it's called the forest floor. And we're gonna look at some animals from there. So the last layer of the rainforest is called the forest floor. 
Let's see what animals we can find that live on the forest floor. In the last layer of the rainforest, called the forest floor, is where we find this beautiful creature, a jaguar. It can prowl along on the forest floor, but it also likes to go up in the trees. And it's pretty amazing. You wouldn't think its coat would blend into its surroundings. But because there is shade and light or dappled lighting, if it's very still, it can blend right into its background. That way it makes it easier for it to hunt its prey. It's a meat eater, a carnivore. Now we have the armadillo and he is definitely a ground dweller. Not many animals bother the armadillo. They have the ability to roll up into a little ball tucking its head and tail underneath its soft belly and the hard plates on the top protect it. It's an insect eater mainly and it can dig. You can see its claws here. It's another picture of an armadillo. And there's a baby armadillo. Then we have the tapir. Now the tapir is a very interesting creature. It's an herbivore, so it only eats plants. It eats leaves and buds. It eats shoots, small branches, and it likes grasses and fruits too. Sometimes it'll even wade in water and eat aquatic plants that it pulls up. It is the largest land animal in South America, and they are called the rainforest gardeners because they eat so much vegetation and they have such a large area to roam through that as they eat and they defecate, they plant seeds that bring new plants to be in the forest floor. So they're very helpful. That is a baby tapir. They're called watermelons because they look like a wild watermelon and they blend into their surroundings very well. So predators have a hard time seeing them. They don't keep these lovely markings. When they get older, they become a plain brown like this fellow. There, they're eating some water plants. Here's a giant anteater making its way. Long nose, very, very hard, sharp claws. So they can dig into termite mounds and into the ground and rotted wood without any trouble at all. Look at that tongue. Just what you'd need to slurp up insects and termites that you find. There it is in a piece of rotted wood working away, using its heavy claws to pull away the bark and the wood. And that's the last creature that I have for the forest floor of the rainforest. I hope you've enjoyed your rainforest journey. I wanted you to see my diorama. I took a little different tack here because I didn't have everything I needed to make a diorama. So I used my plants from around my house to make my diorama. So there is the emergent layer at the top and I have a bird in the emergent layer. And then in the canopy, I have a sloth peeking out. And here we have another bird can and down here we have a monkey. So there is my rainforest that I created for a diorama. I hope you've enjoyed this time with me. I certainly have with you. Take good care. Bye. <laughs>